In this tutorial, we take common topics on strings, such as creating strings, on concatenation of strings, extraction of a string, and truncation, null testing, searching a string within another, and comparison of two strings. String small s is an alias for system.string, just like object is for system.object and bool is for system.boolean. Small s string can be used without requiring a directive for the system namespace. You can use either of the two because they compile to the same system.string type. But experts recommend that string should be used in preference to system.string. A string cannot be altered once it has been created. If we create a string s equal to a, b, c, d, e, f, g, h, i, then s is a read-only string. Its characters cannot be changed or replaced. We cannot use s0 equal to say m to change the first character. It's not possible. It is not possible as well to concatenate more characters to this string. This is a very subtle feature of string class of .NET that a string once created is fixed, you cannot add, remove or alter anything to that string. Assignment equal to behaves differently with string types. Consider the code where a new string s1 is created by assignment of s. In this case, s1 is not a reference to s. It is a different string that contains the same characters as the string s. The string is different. It's a new string. The compound assignment operator plus equal to also behaves differently here. Consider this code where we have written s plus is equal to hello. In this case, a new string is created by concatenation and stored back in s. The previously held string is orphaned and released for deletion by the garbage collector. And it is interesting now to print the contents of s1. It can be verified that s1 still contains its own characters. Although s has been altered, this confirms that assignment of strings creates new and independent strings. And now since independent strings are created on assignment on concatenation, we will have a problem if a lengthy loop keeps appending strings to create a longer string. It will cause too many strings to be created and too many often that it will make it difficult for the garbage collector. Such a thing has an impact on the runtime efficiency of your program. This problem can be solved by using the string builder class. This class is intended for solving exactly the same problem. A string builder keeps an extra capacity to allow concatenation without creating a new string. A string builder can grow as per needs. The code shown here is a typical use of string builder. A for loop keeps appending more strings to the string builder. The actual string object can be finally obtained from a string builder by using its two string method. As you can see, we have used sb.toString to print the string to console. And let me now list some of the most commonly used functions of a string. The length function can be used to obtain the number of characters held in the string instance. This code creates a string of five characters, string s2 equal to hello, and the function s2.length, it prints five. We can use the static function string dot is null or white space to determine if the string contains anything other than a null or spaces or new line characters. This is also very commonly used in day-to-day -day programming, where you test a string for emptiness or nullness, where you test that it contains nothing at all. The substring function can be used to extract a substring from a given string. You can specify the start position of extraction. There is a second overload that allows you to specify the number of characters to be extracted. String class provides many functions. Functions are also available for removing a portion of the string. A new string is created, but the old string is left untouched in every case. Replace is used for replacing occurrences of a string. 
split for splitting a string into a string array, two lower for creating a new string containing lower case characters, two upper is for upper case, trim is for trimming white space or custom characters from an end or from both the ends of a string. You will have to study the MSDN documentation on need basis. It is possible to search a string inside a string. The index of function returns the index of the first occurrence of a string or character in a given string. It returns minus 1 if the search fails. The contains function, it returns true if there is at least one occurrence and it returns false if the search fails. Another common day-to-day -day scenario is when we need to compare if two strings are equal, that is they contain exactly the same sequence of characters. A static function called string.equals can be used to make this comparison. One of its overloads allows us to make a comparison without regard to case. For this we have to pass an argument string comparison dot ordinal ignore case. So this is a very brief overview of strings. It's a vast topic and it's better left to day to day work to experience. Thank you.